I'm Alan Baxter. Inconceivable. That's the wildlife in Australia. Everything's trying to kill you. In the air, land, sea, even plants can hurt you. And we have ROSs, ruse of unusual size. I uh, wrote a book about it. So we thought what we might do for Inconceivable is get some of the Australian guests to talk to you about their run-ins and encounters with dangerous and deadly Aussie critters. So uh, keep an eye open and enjoy these stories. Don't let it put your beautiful place to be. We're all still alive, aren't we? I'm gonna tell you a story that I have told two people in the world. So it's coming out now. <laughs> you take it however you want it, but this is real. So what was my worst run in with an Australian critter? It's kind of hard to choose actually, because there was that time that the python fell down the chimney. The age when I was five and my kitten was just a baby, a giant eight foot carpet snake came and ate my kitten. Again, there's a joke that if you come home and there's an Australian spider in your home, just give it your keys and leave. I'm not generally afraid of spiders. You see that I live in an old house with high ceilings and most of my ceilings have resident spiders of one kind or another. We just leave each other alone and live in peace. But there's one species or one type of spider which is a bit of a worry. There are snakes and spiders everywhere, but they're usually very shy. I hardly ever see them. It started to feel like I'd been, like I'd been jipped. You know, I've been told all these stories about these terrifying snakes. When something started crashing in the trees, then it started crashing the other way. And we started to get a bit uncomfortable. And what I saw just slammed me to a halt. Because I didn't know what it was. I was looking at something I had never seen before. And I don't think you've ever seen this before. So one night I went down to stay at Dad's house and I'm in the bedroom. And I'm sitting there fast asleep and I feel this like scratchy, sharpy, sharpy, scratchy. What the what? Then there was the time that the huge Heath Monitor Lizard uh, took my cat's tail off. You know, vine bits going everywhere and a bit of a brush on my neck and I'm like, oh yeah, flip that off. Um, but it wasn't a vine. And in this kind of secluded, completely desolate uh, spot, the, the muddy bank of this river was completely covered in a blanket of, of red belly black snakes. Its name was Percy, it had one eye, and it used to chase down cars and kick But it was such an act of desperation, like watching this guy chase a spider with a blowtorch. Who'd have thought? Strange, unusual, not that common, probably a little bit. Inconceivable!